How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a sweet video um, of how to download R and get R Studio running on your computer. Um, we just got a new laptop, so it's fresh, and I need to get R Studio on here. And I figured, shoot, let's make a video about it. So the first thing you need to do, you need to have R on your computer. R Studio doesn't come with R. So <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll download R. Um, so you just download R. In Google you do download R, and then that first one is download R there. Uh, you can pick whatever mirror you want. Since my teacher came from Berkeley, she always downloaded it with uh, the Berkeley mirror, and so I've continued to do that. Uh, but you can choose whatever. Uh, once you have that mirror set up, you can do it for Linux, Mac, which is what I have, or uh, Windows. You click on the uh, latest release, which is going to be, uh, it could change depending on whenever you're uh, downloading this. So that'll take a couple minutes and we'll skip, a f uh, skip forward. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right, we're wrapping this up here. We got one second left. On Mac, you just click on this package now, and on uh, Windows, probably the same idea. Go through the installer, agree, get it all installed. We'll get the uh, password typed in there. Write the files and such, and boom, shakalaka. We, we have R installed. And if all you need is R, then you're good to go. This is going to be just the uh, regular console. And it's pretty lame. I mean, it's not lame. R is the best programming language there is. Um, sup. <laughs> uh, but we want better, okay? We want the GUI. We want R Studio. So we'll get rid of that hot bodge there. And we'll type download R Studio, and you just click that top link there, which is the R Studio downloads. Uh, we choose our version. Okay, we want the Freezy, Freezy Fashizi. I'm on Mac, so it can sense what you have. So if you have Windows, it'll it should pop up Windows there, or you can come down here and click on which, uh, which uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> Which uh, ver version? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably just going to have to edit that out, bro. Uh, what, what, what do they call it? Gosh dang it. <laughs> Whatever the heck you're running. Uh, all right, and then, and then we click uh, open. And so we'll verify. We'll go through the same process of, uh, of installing. So we'll move that over to applications. Again, same idea if you're going to be on Windows. That'll copy it over. And from there, oh, there it was. I missed it. <clears throat> so on Mac, that's the four finger swipe into the middle. Pulls up that uh, launch pad, or you can click on launch pad over here. All right, we're verifying our studio. We're going to open this bad boy here. We want to install that uh, whatever if you need it. Like I said, this is a fresh Mac here pulled straight straight from the box on Christmas Day. So uh, we might we might skip forward from here too, but it looks like we're downloading Git for something. Uh, you might not need to, this might not pop up for you if you already have it installed. <clears throat> or if you're on Windows, I'm not sure exactly if it'll pop up. Operating system. Which which uh, which operating system? <laughs> if, we're, if we're going back a few seconds here, okay. Um, onto our previous where I had no idea what I was talking about. This might be a good time to bring up here. Uh, I'm sure I'll be skipping <clears throat> forward and ahead here, but this might be a good time to bring up that um, it is 2020, and a goal of mine is to put more content out for this channel. So if you found this helpful, if you're getting our studio set up here, 
you, you like these kind of videos okay if you if you want the best art content shoot you better subscribe because it's gonna be coming out hot and heavy installing all this stuff is <clears throat> boring so like I said you might not need to do that but here we are um, all right so the next thing here is if we want to do a script you'll press this this uh, plus button here and that way we have a script that we can uh, run whatever part that we want uh, we'll do some tips and tricks of our studio probably here in the next video uh, the last thing I will say here is that you can't ha leave it all white okay if we want R to be considered a real programming language uh, because it is it's the data science language and so we're gonna have to switch that Go to the appearance and they need to make it so it all darks out all right we get all all black uh, but we'll do I kind of like the solarized dark it's pretty all right <clears throat> hey it looks like they've updated it you don't even need the the hacksaw way anymore that's great um, I like that a lot so anyways now we look legit we're completely darked out here and uh, and you're on to programming if you found this video helpful make sure to smash that like button so that other people can find it uh, subscribe if you want the best R content that there is on the whole platform of YouTube and uh, I appreciate your time you have a good day thanks